Welcome to Doctor's Social Problems. In this video, I would like to answer the question, where does the strength of Mr. Naoya Inoue come from as an exceptional world boxing champion? I would like to proceed from outline through analysis to conclusion. In case you are in a hurry, please jump over to the conclusion part at the ending scene. Are you ready? Let's start. Naoya Inoue lately uh, won a fight against uh, Stephen Fulton by technical KO. He currently carries WBC, WBO, Super Bantam Unified Championship after he held WBC, IBF, WBO, and WBA Unified Bantam Championship. And uh, some former champion like uh, Mike Tyson even praises how different Mr. Inoue is. So here I would like to uh, analyze where Mr. Inoue's strength comes from, which I believe can fully apply to how to accomplish your own goal in your own life, apart from boxing. Although I am not a professional boxer, I used to uh, work as a second to my good friend, world kickboxing champion, for a couple of years. By using my professional social pathology skills, I would first like to point out his basis of strength is both by his constant perfect defense in addition to his constant jabbing, looking for some opening on the opponent. Oh, if you are interested in this kind of discussions, please click the, the channel logo you see in the corner. Although this sounds a matter of course, there are so many great boxers who is so good at offense, but without ample defending, which can lead to punch drunker later on when he get older. The very basics of boxing is good defense, not to get hit substantially. Also, good boxers always have to be on the attacking side, constantly throwing jabs on the opponent to be looking for some openings on the opponent. These two are the very basics on which some exceptional abilities of the boxer can stand. Based on these two, what is important? So many amateur boxers try to push too hard to forcefully knock the opponent down. But uh, at the very high level, it never happens. The chance only comes while maintaining the predominant stance based on their constant defense and constant offense by jabs. And uh, although I'm mentioning it casually, maintaining predominant stance is crucial. That kickboxing world champion I mentioned always kept saying, never back off. Even if the opponent is aggressively attacking, just maintain high guard and never step back. It is very important and critical to win the fight. And the chance happens under such predominance over the opponents. By constantly being under attack, the opponent in time does make careless mistake. And you never miss chance of careless mistake on the opponent. When the chance opens, you start your aggressive attacks by using combination. And the longer the combination is, the better it is because the opponent can never prepare for the long combination. However, there are many professional boxers who can do this. What's the critical difference between Inoue and other boxers? It all depends on whether the punch is really lethal or not. By that, I mean the punch has to be the round trajectory. You see, straightforward force is always limited, while centrifugal force 
amplify so many times the force that you originally have. You should uh, look at uh, how Mr. Mike Tyson throws his punches. Most of the lethal punches he throws is always in a circle trajectory. And the punch on the circle trajectory can even beat the opponents down only by hitting them over their guard. Centrifugal force does have lethal effect. Whoever throws that punch. And furthermore, what is great about uh, Mr. Inoue is he also has that uh, lethal effect by his straight punches too. I analyze it comes from his strong step by extreme training of his lower body. His forward step is firmly into the other's territory, which means his straight punches can fully get into the opponent's body. And also, as Inoue himself mentioned, he draws back his punches. At the moment, the punch landes on the opponent's face or body. That doubles up the lethal effect. So, in a nutshell, Mr. Inoue's exceptional strength comes based upon his constant solid guard and offenses by jobs and uh, he never uh, naturally tried to knock out the opponents rather he continues rallies with the opponents by maintaining his predominance over the opponent and he never misses the chance that opens on the opponent end once he sees that he starts his very fast combination so that they cannot keep up with the guarding against the punches by Inoue. But the most important thing is he has lethal punches, which most pro boxers do not have. You see, so many boxers only win by technical knockouts, never beat them down. But the Inoue has high knockout rates because his punch is always lethal, like a bullet. When it hits the opponent, the other party goes down because it is on a round trajectory, while even his straight punch is way more lethal than what the most boxers can throw because his forward steps it so solidly into the other opponent's territory and also he quickly draws back as soon as his punch touches the opponent, which doubles up the lethal effect. And uh, I wanted to uh, introduce this uh, video because this is how we should uh, fight in a real life too. Always guard and always attack, keeping the dominance and just wait for a perfect chance. When you see the chance, you should never miss the chance. and. Uh, you should start the combination in one breath to finish it off. And remember, without your punch being lethal like a bullet, you can never be a, uh, an exceptional somebody. It's got to be like a bullet. When it hits, the other party must go down. This is the most important point that uh, Inoue teaches us in his perfect fighting. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, thank you always for your support by subscriptions, likes, and the sharing. And I'm wishing you a peaceful night wherever you're watching my video on this same small planet Earth. Okay, until next time. Bye-bye.